Megalodon, the apex predator of prehistoric seas. Megalodon, also known as Otodus megalodon, meaning big tooth, is an extinct species of shark that lived approximately between 23 to 3.6 million years ago from the early Miocene to the Pliocene era. The classification of this creature has been a subject of debate, with some suggesting it was closely related to the modern great white shark, Carcharodon carcarius, within the Lamnidae family, while others believe it belonged to the extinct family Otodontidae, a viewpoint that is widely accepted today. Discussions also extend to its genus classification, whether it falls under Carcharocles, Megacelicus, Otodus, or Procarcharodon. Megalodons likely played a significant role in shaping marine community structures. Fossil evidence suggests they were widespread, inhabiting all the world's oceans. Unlike the great white shark, which attacks prey from below, megalodons may have used their powerful jaws to bite into the chest cavity of large prey such as whales, seals, and large turtles, aiming to damage vital organs like the heart and lungs. Research indicates these giant sharks could have been endothermic, maintaining a constant body temperature. The appearance of megalodon might have resembled a bulkier version of the great white shark, or could have been similar to the sand tiger or basking shark. Fossil records suggest it reached lengths between 60 to 65 feet, a result of evolution in cooler waters. Its massive jaws with strong teeth could exert a bite force estimated between 108,500 to 182,200 newtons, facilitating hunting and tearing prey. Megalodon faced competition from cetaceans that preyed on other whales, which may have contributed to its extinction. Living primarily in warm waters, the onset of an ice age or ocean cooling could have played a role in its demise. Sea levels dropped, reducing nursery areas for shark young, and the number of cetacean species decreased while moving to polar regions, depriving megalodon of its main food source. The extinction of this giant shark impacted other marine life, leading to an increase in the size of cetaceans. The oldest remains of megalodon date back to the late Oligocene, around 28 million years ago, though there are theories suggesting its emergence around 16 or 23 million years ago. This prehistoric shark is believed to have become extinct at the end of the Pliocene, approximately 2.6 million years ago, with research from 2019 placing its extinction around 3.6 million years ago. Reports of megalodon teeth from the subsequent Pleistocene epoch are considered unreliable. Originally classified in the genus Carcharodon due to tooth resemblance with the great white shark, it's more likely that megalodon and the great white evolved separately through convergent evolution, resulting in similar appearances despite possibly not being closely related. The great white is considered to be more closely related to the broad-toothed mako shark, Isurus ostelis, due to more similar dentition, with megalodon having finer serrations. Some theories suggest minor and unclear differences in the dentition between megalodon and the great white shark. There are several different theories attempting to describe the appearance of the megalodon. According to one of them, this giant shark resembled the great white shark, Carcharodon carcarius, but had larger and wider jaws. The fins of the megalodon, according to this theory, were similar to those of the great white shark, but stronger. Its deeply set eyes could resemble those of a pig. Another theory suggests that the megalodon resembled either the whale shark, Rhynchodon typus, or the basking shark, Cedarhinus maximus. In this case, the caudal fin would likely have a crescent shape, and the shark would be equipped with a small anal and a second dorsal fin. On both sides of the tail, a horizontal keel could have developed in this scenario. This feature is commonly found in other large marine animals such as whales, tunas, and other sharks, aiding in swimming. However, the shape of the head cannot be estimated because it varies among different species. Most body adaptations aimed at reducing water resistance have evolved towards the tail. Due to the limited remains of the megalodon, consisting only of teeth and vertebrae, there are numerous conflicting estimates regarding its size. Also, because of the scarcity of fossil material, its description and size are estimated based on the great white shark, which is considered the creature most similar to it. In 1909, the American zoologist Bashford Dean first reconstructed the jaws of the megalodon, which are part of the collections of the American Museum of Natural History. Based on the dimensions of this reconstruction, it was assumed that the megalodon measured approximately 30 meters in length. However, Dean overestimated the size of the jaws in his reconstruction, leading to this exaggerated figure. A black and white photograph of a man sitting in the reconstructed jaws of the megalodon. Dean's reconstruction of the megalodon's jaws. A white megalodon tooth held in a person's hand, with a ruler on the right side. 
a megalodon tooth compared to a hand. In the 1970s, ichthyologist John A. Randall used the height of the enamel of the teeth to estimate the size of the megalodon. Based on this, he estimated that the shark measured around 13 meters. However, the height of the enamel may not increase in direct proportion to the overall length of the animal. Based on more recent studies from 2014 to 2017, the size of the megalodon has been determined to be a maximum of 60 feet with a diameter of 35 feet. The largest great white sharks measured 20 feet. It's possible that different populations of megalodons reach different sizes in various territories due to different ecological pressures. If the shark reached a size greater than 52 feet, it would be the largest known fish to have ever lived, surpassing even the enormous Jurassic fish Leedsichthys. A study published in October 2019 reassesses previous estimates of the megalodon's size, length 60 to 65 feet, as slightly overestimated and, based on tooth research, estimates the likely length of adult megalodon specimens to be 45 to 50 feet. Specimens longer than 50 feet are considered extremely rare. Nevertheless, this shark remains one of the largest known predators in the history of life on Earth. According to the results of a scientific study from 2020, the megalodon was approximately 52 feet long, its dorsal fin was approximately 5 feet high, and its caudal fin measured a total height of 12 feet. Its head was about 15 feet long, roughly the length of a longer car. Other estimates from 2021 again state the maximum length of adults of this species as an even 65 feet. The megalodon, with a length of at least 45 feet, was indeed significantly beyond the size limit for all other lamniform sharks, whose length did not exceed approximately 22 feet. Adult male megalodons could weigh between 26,000 and 75,000 pounds, and females between 60,000 and 132,000 pounds. Females were generally larger, ranging from about 42 to 55 feet in size, while males measured between 32 and 45 feet. Based on a study released in 2015, which examined the speed of sharks based on their size, it was estimated that the megalodon swam at a speed of approximately 11 miles per hour, corresponding to its average weight of 100,000 pounds. The result matched the speed of other aquatic creatures of similar size. For example, a similarly sized fin whale, Balanoptera physalis, swims at a speed between 9 and 13 miles per hour. The giant size of the megalodon could have been caused by climatic factors, the abundance of large prey, or the evolution of mesothermy, the transition between endothermy and ectothermy, which would lead to an increase in the megalodon's metabolic rate and therefore its ability to swim faster. However, since sharks from the Ododontidae family are considered ectothermic and the megalodon is considered their close relative, it's possible that it too was ectothermic. This possibility is unlikely, however, considering that most modern ectothermic sharks, such as the whale shark, primarily feed by filtering food from the water and are therefore not adapted to a predatory lifestyle. The precise mix of circumstances leading to the prehistoric shark's extinction remains unclear. It is understood, however, that around 3.5 million years ago, significant transformations were happening in the ocean's shallower regions, coinciding with the period the giant shark vanishes from the fossil record. The waters were becoming colder, leading to a decline in marine mammals, and the emergence of the great white shark introduced a swift competitor for the same resources. Yet, pinning down the exact cause of the megalodon's demise is still beyond our reach. The myth of Meg often suggests that this colossal 50-foot creature has been lurking in the ocean's depths for countless years. This idea has inspired numerous books and speculative documentaries, all premised on the reality that we have yet to explore vast portions of the ocean's deep waters. These uncharted territories are thought to be perfect hiding spots for mysterious creatures. However, considering the extreme biological adaptations necessary for survival in such deep, dark environments, very few creatures could manage to live unseen. Should the megalodon still exist, which is highly speculative, it likely has undergone significant changes from its known prehistoric form. Throughout the years, discoveries in various parts of the globe, including Panama, Japan, Australia, and the southeastern region of the United States, have accumulated. However, a particular discovery ignited the possibility that Meg might still be roaming the ocean's abyss. In 1875, the HMS Challenger, on a voyage sponsored by the Royal Society of London, retrieved teeth measuring 4 inches in length from a depth of 14,000 feet near Tahiti. In 1959, Vladimir Chernesky, a zoologist with a keen interest in researching cryptic creatures such as Bigfoot, 
dated these teeth to be approximately 11,300 years old. Although this dating has been refuted by other scientists, it hasn't stopped some documentarians and hobbyists from using the findings to speculate that the Megalodon could still exist. Thank you for watching, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel if you enjoyed our content. See you next time!